Top runner game is amazing here. So we're looking at Code Vein, which is a very interesting game. But the question is, is it amazing? Let's jump in and find out. So Code Vein is like, basically it boils down to, the easy way to say it is that it's anime Dark Souls. It's anime Demon Souls, it's anime Bloodborne. It's basically anime version of that style of game. Like down to a T, but it does a ton of unique stuff that makes it really interesting. Um, and I'm really having a good time with it. It's, it's, it's fun. It's really fun. Um, and the cool things about it is that you kind of get this partner and you get all these attacks. So if I hold down the right trigger, you can kind of see, like, I have, like, the Y would power up my weapon. Uh, uh, X is kind of, X, X and A are like attacks. And then Y and B are like add fire, add extra damage. Well, the D-pad adds on a whole bunch of other slew of attacks. So you can really kind of mix and match your character and you kind of go in here and you're, just, you're like, oh my God, there's so much stuff. But you know, it's all pretty simple. Like, you know, I can kind of choose what attack I want. Oh God. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm pretty, uh, I play Dark Souls style games where I grind until I am more powerful than whatever I am attacking. Uh, so I basically make myself extremely overpowered for any area that I walk into. <laughs> um, just because that's how I like to play these style of games. Cause I, you know, at the front I get, you know, I get kicked down a lot and I die a lot, but you know, I eventually find a place where I can get a ton of, so in this game it's blood. Uh, so you collect blood and you use it to have blood. So if you can see in the bottom uh, left there, I have 448. Um, I'm kind of taking these guys out here, kind of with my normal attack. It's quite um, Let's use it well. But uh, the cool things that really differentiate this from a Dark Souls, as you can tell, is that my partner Lewis is talking. He's talking to you, and uh, you know he actually helps you fight. So you're not doing this alone. You're not you're not alone in this world, like like a Dark Souls or a, that style of game. But you still have all those same rules. I still have a stamina bar, I still have a health bar, and I only have so many uh, heals between... Uh, they're, uh, they're not bonfires in this game, but they're essentially... They're missiles, but they're basically bonfires. Um, and I kind of got a back attack, so now I grow this tail and I take out this guy. So awesome. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, some other things, it's like, that guy was hiding behind the corner. So, like, that's kind of the Dark Souls vibe here. Um, so, you know, he talks about the world. It's not just, like, told through weapons or told through, like, many cutscenes. There's, like, full-on cutscenes in this game, and they're really cool. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, you know, what's the gas mask playing? Well, they can't breathe on the surface world anymore. They have to wear a gas mask, hence. Uh, you know, I just felt it fit the, it fit the game here. Um... So, you know, I wanted to definitely be in that part, and, you know, if we go back to home base, we'll be able to take off the gas mask, but for now, we gotta play it safe. We gotta play it safe in this world, because uh, there's just a whole bunch of bad, uh, I think they call it, like, bad blood, uh, that kind of, like, permeates the air here, and they can't afford to breathe it in. So, you know, you get a back attack, I instantly win. Um, you know, I'm gonna kind of heal up here, because uh, I don't want to die. Uh, and then, kind of like, let's give my swords some attack, let's kind of make it on fire. Uh, and you know, he's, it's, it's kind of like a, I, I, I don't want to say like baby's first Dark Souls, but they do treat it like you, you might have never played this style of game before, and I really appreciate that. Uh, it's really nice to see a game just not beat the crap out of you. <laughs> uh, without some, like don't get me wrong, this game's pretty hard, and I worked really hard to get kind of overpowered. Um, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to use this 
So this is basically the bonfire. And I just kind of wanted to use this to kind of show you like, hey, that's basically a little run around of like, you know, how you do a little, uh, how you get through the world here. And the really thing I like about this game is that when you level up, you just have to have enough haze to do it. I don't have to sit here and pump haze just into HP, just into stamina. I just level up one thing, it levels me up across the board. It is so nice to not have to think about it. Um, so let's kind of let's kind of go to where I am here. So if I go to the Hills of Deception, there's kind of a boss. So I thought I'd try to beat that boss because it's been it's kicking me down a whole bunch. Um, and you know, just kind of get a little showing of like what it is kind of the. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna see the cutscene again. It doesn't really recreate cutscenes, but I do really like this because you do get a map. So as you can see, the map isn't laid out because I haven't found the uh, parts to kind of fully dispose it, but you can see where I've been. So all I have to do to get back to the boss is follow the path. And that's really nice. So, uh, you know, I had to lower the water level and the map in the main map shows me exactly where I need to go, which is really nice. Um, I really appreciate that. They, they really, um, they made a Dark Souls, but they made it, they made it so user friendly. And I am totally okay with that. Uh, I could have. I don't know. If, uh, I'm kind of blanking on the run here. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it's RV. <laughs> Sorry, I've been walking around. Oh god. All right, so this isn't the way to go. So see, even though I had the map, I still kind of got lost. Uh, oh crap. No, no. All right, so we're gonna run away because I don't want to waste all my health on these lowly guys when I should be. Oh god. Um, that's not the way to go. Uh, oh, the ways to go is down here. Okay, sorry. So see, even with that map, I'm still lost. <laughs> oh god, this thing just wants me dead. So I kind of opened this pathway with a key. Um, you can kind of see on the main map, it was kind of marked with the door, which is nice. Um, so it looks like I kind of have to go left here. Uh, and there's like an overarching plot that you can just follow along with. Uh, there's cutscenes. It's confusing as all hell. Don't get me wrong. I still have, you know, I've been playing this game for a couple hours and I still have absolutely no idea what's going on. Um, but, uh, you know, it's still nice to have a story that's straightforward and not like, uh, oh, I gotta go read wikis and I gotta go do all this legwork and I might have to go watch like an hour long video piecing everything together. It's just like, okay, the story is what it is. It's a little confusing, but as long as you're paying somewhat of attention, you'll know what's going on. And you know, you got, got the enemies like hiding uh, kind of on the outskirts here. Uh, so let's kind of beeline to the boss. Uh, can I get around this guy? Of course I can't. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna dodge past him. Oh, mm. nice. Uh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> ah! Ah! I just kind of want to beeline to the boss here. Uh, save as many regenerations as I could. Obviously that did not work out for me too well. So let's kind of get up there. Because the, the, you know, it does do the Dark Souls thing where you have to like fight your way back to the boss. And you should, um, so you know, this, this is kind of like open the map, but all the map opened was this little bit up top here, which isn't helpful. <laughs> Uh, so, let's, oil so let's see if we can take down this boss that has been giving me trouble. Oh, my so oh, my haze is still here. That's great. Okay. Oh, God. So, uh, the bosses are really, really, really cool, and they're all bigger than you. The last one I thought was, like, flying around and stuff. Uh, this one seems more into the ground. Uh, so, she seems pretty slow, so I'm just going to try to get in here and let's... Uh, Let's uh, kind of make my sword on fire do some more damage here. Uh, and the cool thing is, look, she's attacking my partner. So she's not focused, fully focused on me. Oh, crap. Why am I going away? <laughs> oh, run away. Run away. Uh, so you notice she's attacking Lewis, and Lewis has his own health bar. So he's actually helping me fight the boss, which is really cool. Oh, that's a pretty sweet move. Oh, God. Oh, God. So now it's kind of like, oh, dodge. 
don't have stamina to come back. I'm gonna heal up a bit here. I, I don't like to use all my heals, but uh, I'm just kind of waiting for that opening here. If I don't, uh, so that. So this is one of my big problems with this game. A lot of the enemies have one hit kills and it's BS. It's us? not fun, it's not cool. And I'm so tired of games that do that. If you're gonna have a boss, make it hard on the merit of, it's really hard. You, you know, plan. don't make it like, it's got one attack Move. that'll instantly kill you. It's, it's just BS and it's not fun. And I'm so tired of it being kind of like a thing. Like, I'm like, there's no difficulty in this game. Um, again, harping back to the Dark Souls thing. Uh, but it's still like, the game's gotta really stop doing that. It's not, it's not cool. <laughs> and I'm so tired of like, having to look out for one attack that's gonna kill you in one hit, and it's like, uh, see, now I gotta run all the way back there. And because why? Because she has one attack that takes me down. It's, it's just, it's a big problem I have with uh, games. I feel awful. <laughs> ah, I know I can take out that boss, but I have to get there with full health, but it's such a long trip. Okay, fast forward, go! strength give me heat give me the ability to not die oh god oh come on all right so distance is the key here oh, i'll be using all my heat the other thing is that you gotta use too much health to really kind of do anything but as you can see lewis lewis is really taking her out so I, I just kind of got to sit back, which is nice. Okay, so time for bullet hell dodge. Oh god. Okay, so don't get near that because that's a most does a lot of damage. Okay, dodge, dodge. See? Oh, it's so bullsh. Like that would have killed me, but he she focused on Lewis. Again, it comes back to the partner play. It's so awesome. Ah! So it didn't one hit kill me, but oh my god, I'm still totally screwed. And now I have to use all my health because of one attack. And now I'm like, okay, she only did it once. So, oh. See, like, come on. I was behind you. Like, at least show an effort that you're gonna spin around. But again, she's focusing on Lewis, so I have no I have no quarrels here. Ah! See, what the hell? But because Lewis had health, I'm able to get a second life, which is nice. So I really appreciate that. Unless Lewis dies. Which he's probably going to. Ah! Is she gonna come back? What the hell? <laughs> So, you know, it, it's nice in the fact that I get multiple shots, but it's still like, why does this one attack kill me? <laughs> like, I'm not getting one-shotted, which I appreciate, but it's still like, uh So, Lewis is down, she's got like, no health, and I got it. <laughs> ah! ah! Ah. Uh, 
round three. Okay, we're on three, let's go. Fire. Damage. Oh god. Uh. Attack! Get out of there! Okay. Go, Lewis, go! Yeah, attack Lewis. Don't even focus on me. Oh crap. Yeah, only attack Lewis. I am totally down with that. Oh god. Oh, attack! Get her! Get her! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, get out of there! Get out of there! Ah! She does that too early. Lewis, get out of there! Ah! Okay. Alright, just gotta watch out for that freaking spear attack. That's not as annoying. Ah, is she gonna do it? I can't, I don't know what to tell. The tell is just she does it. It's bullshit. Come on, Lewis, heal. No! No! Ah. See, I thought that was the tell, but it's not. Come on! At least, it, like, when she does the spear attack, she does take a little cooldown on it. Ah. What the hell? <laughs> it's so BS! There was no tell. She just did it. And now I'm like slow? God damn it. So if she does it, I'm screwed. No. I can't do anything at this. Whoa. Oh! Man, no! Uh, okay. Damn it! No! Ah! Lewis, no, why? Ah, it's not worth healing him. I dodged. What? Okay, round four. One more try. One more try. I, I'm pretty certain I can do this. Okay. Going down. Going down. Round four. Let's go. Oh man, she's changing up attacks. Okay, I'm just gonna sit back and try to keep focus while Lois attacks. Lewis does a great, fantastic job. I'm just gonna let him carry the workload here. Let's see how that goes. Damn it, Lewis, dodge. I'm just gonna sit back and dodge. Why are you focused on me? Look away. Don't focus on me. Focus on him. Yes. Oh crap, but he's gonna die. Oh god. Let me do your stupid water BS. Where did the fire come from? What, did you move hell and earth to get closer to me? What the hell? Come on. Ah. The, the thing about the... the uh, why does that do so much damage? Oh my god. Okay. Just focused on him. Just good. Oh no! Okay. I need a, I need a further. Do oh god. Okay, come on. Lewis did so much work. I can't. I can't let his sacrifice be in vain. Oh god, he's gonna die. I get oh no no no! Is she gonna do it twice? No. Okay, great. Oh, no! Oh, get in there. Okay, get out of there. And is that the fireball? Okay, the water balls. Come on, damn it. Come on. No! Oh, what the What the hell? Oh Lewis, 
Janet. <laughs> ah! I say you never lose as long as you have the will to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Well, I didn't win, and I don't think I can win. I think I have to go grind some more. Um, but you know, I I took on the boss and I tried. I tried my best. And I just can't. I just can't beat her at the moment. So we're kind of at home base here, where we can kind of take off the gas mask, which is nice, and you know, take it, kind of put it on our civilian clothes. Uh, and this is kind of the hub. So basically, you come here. Um, he's basically like. Uh, you know, you can kind of change music for the whole hall. He's kind of like um, dungeon area, so you can kind of go do extra challenges. Uh, you got the weaponsmith, which, and you got the uh, store lady. And uh, as you kind of save people throughout the world, you kind of bring them back here to uh, just, you know, kind of just be like, hey, I'm making a difference. Um, this is kind of where, like, your hub, so you can come in and just kind of see, like, oh, okay, my mission is to go beat that boss, uh, which I just can't do at the moment. Uh, so you can kind of come here and you can kind of come in. So the cool thing about this game is that you you have all these different blood codes. So I can be like, so right now I'm Prometheus, but I could also change it up to like a Mercury, which would lower all my stats, but I could do a different build of my character. You could change that on the fly. You don't, you're not set path. You can change up everything you want, including how the character looks on the fly. Like I just come over to the, uh, this mirror here and there's a crazy in-depth customization. Uh, so I can kind of change everything about my character. Uh, the game doesn't care what you look like or how you look or whatever. The game is just like, hey man, play it how you want. Uh, you know, and I kind of get these little passive abilities and I can kind of get my quick slots going here. Uh, you can kind of change your look. So I'm using the Raven Fatigues because they're the best outfit I have at the moment. Uh, but as you can kind of see, everything changes your stats uh, based on how you kind of want to play. Uh, you got the weapons. Uh, I haven't seen too many weapons. They all kind of seem like great sword and normal sword uh but you can kind of have two i really don't use the the spear too much so i was mainly focused on the broadsword. um and then yeah you can kind of like uh kind of like have little emotes and stuff so got this sweet dance going on and uh you know this this game is a lot of fun it's really really um uh, it's it's anime dark souls and that's that's pretty much perfect for me. Oh, she gets a little pillowette. So I, I just think you know, if it's kind of let's kind of get over here to kind of get a little nice, uh, nicer view. Um, so I can kind of make it snow, which is really cool. Uh, and this game has a crazy, really awesome like uh, like in-game built-in camera, which is really fun. Okay, I thought it would infinitely snow. So apparently, I can just dance forever. Oh, okay, so it has little arrows, like, you know, like, she'll dance until I tell her to stop, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this game is, this game is a ton of fun. I'm having a blast with it. It's a really unique take on Dark Souls with the partner system and the fact that he can, like, revive you if you die, so you don't have to be worried about dying. He'll revive you, and, and like, that boss fight is a bad example because he revived me, but I immediately died. So, <laughs> but if you're in the field and you're doing kind of, like, where that video started and I die, like, it's cool to just get really, like, a second chance. Uh, this game is awesome. I am having a ton of fun with it. Uh, you know, the combat's really good. The story is really interesting. If it's if it's not a little too hard to follow, it's pretty anime. Uh, but the cutscenes are there, and the cutscenes are really good. And, uh, you know, coming from, like, playing a lot of Demon Souls and Dark Souls and stuff, seeing a cutscene that actually makes sense and isn't super confusing or, like, isn't just an intro to a boss fight is really interesting. It's a really nice take. Uh, everyone kind of has their own little sub-stories that you can kind of go into. Uh, to unlock the blood codes and those are really interesting too so the game overall i mean on top of it looking phenomenal uh playing really well uh you know the question is is code vein amazing and i'm gonna definitely say yes 100 it gets to 100 hunter armada seal of approval really enjoying it it is definitely amazing in my book i'm having a ton of fun with it i cannot rave much uh about how like you know the varying enemies the constant combat uh additions the leveling up is so simple it's not like i have to okay i have to pick between hp and uh magic it's just i upgrade I, I level up once and it upgrades everywhere and then like oh so now i'm level 37 so now i can use this weapon or i can use this and i can use this better uh it's just really boiled down and i 
you know, not every Demon Souls game has to be like super hard to get into and super hard to read and really just confusing. Uh, so yeah, I truly am enjoying this game. I'm having a ton of fun with it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Have you played Covain? Do you guys think it's amazing? Because I definitely do. Um, so leave a comment down below. I'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, you know, I'm having a blast with it. If you got any pro tips, leave them down there. Um, because I, you know, I am still playing through it. So the question is, what amazing video game is going to be next? Yeah, you're going to have to wait till next week to find out. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Bye.